guys, today I'm making dinner sauce. Now, this is the kind of food that brings back so many memories. This was a typical Sunday food at my house, and my mom used to make that either the first or the second day of January with some red rice and some spicy green pea sauce. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the recipe. To make this recipe, you can cut up a whole turkey, but I find it easier to go and buy some drumsticks that were tight. So those pieces were really huge. So what I do, they were, they, they were already cut, but I'm cutting them again in half. So if you do that, you can cut lint rice near the bone. And of course, don't forget to clean and marinate your meat. When the meat is clean and marinated, we're gonna start cooking the meat. So add the pieces of meat in a heavy pan, pour the marinade, a small amount of water, don't add too much water, and some oil. Now I'm gonna cook for about 15 minutes. So I'm cooking for 10 minutes first, and then I'm gonna turn the meat and cook for another five minutes. When you're done, take off the meat Take off the cooking water. Now we're gonna start browning the meat. So they use this process a lot in Haiti. Basically what you need to do, add some of the cooking water in the tomato paste, mix them together, heat some oil, add the pieces of meat. Let it brown for about, let's say, um, one minute and then pour some of the mixture of tomato paste over the meat and stir and you're gonna gra gradually add the mixture so do the same thing let it brown pour some of the mixture and continue to stir usually they recommend um, when you brown uncooked meat not to stir because the meat's gonna lose all of its juices and it's gonna be dry but in this case the meat um, is already boiled and then you're gonna put that in sauce that it's not gonna be dry at all so don't be afraid to stir the meat so this is the way they do that you can even shake the pan if you want it's gonna pre prevent the meat from sticking to the pan and from burning you know that you're done when the meat has a nice golden brown color I know it's look, it looks yummy and tasty but don't eat it right now we have to make the sauce so add the cooking water add some cloves habanero chile and onion Okay, so you can also add like red, green pepper. So I'm adding some water again. And you're gonna let that simmer for five minutes and then it's gonna be ready. At this point, it's done. So that's the recipe that I wanted to show you for today. But I made some side dishes to eat with my turkey. So I thought that it would be great if I could show you what I did. Okay, so for the rice, quickly what I did is that I put six cups of water for three cups of rice. Rinse the rice first, and when the water boils, I'm gonna add some salt and I'm gonna add the rice. Add the rice, you have to um, stir as quick as possible to prevent the rice from sticking together. And you're gonna add some oil and you're gonna cover that and let the rice absorb the water. And when the rice absorbs the water, 
check if it's well absorbed and add some butter and then turn off the heat to minimum and you're gonna let that for 20 to 30 minutes you know it's ready when it's fluffy the green or well separated I also made some green peas sauce. So I have water. I'm gonna add um, three cloves of garlic, green onion, cloves. You can add some other spices. Add the frozen peas. I'm gonna let that boil for only five minutes, let's see, because the, the peas are already cooked. And when I'm done, I'm gonna take off some green peas now if you want you can blend everything I plan the rest. When I'm done, I'm gonna strain everything. Put the sauce in the pot and add the beans again. Some salt. Now, when you make that recipe, you have to find the right balance between the salt and the sweetness of the green peas. Okay? So you have to taste all of them. And then you're gonna add some butter. Habanero chile. You're gonna cook for about 15 minutes. You're gonna let it boil until the sauce gets a bit thicker. Now, not too thick, okay? And that's it. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna prepare is some beetroot salad. I'm cutting them medium size. And then I'm gonna add some parsley. It's, I'm gonna make a quick vinaigrette with some vinegar, mustard, some pepper, salt, meat, and add over the and pour over the. Okay, I'm gonna mix everything, and I'm done. So now we're gonna plate everything. So you have the rice, you have the turkey, the beetroot salad, the green peas sauce, and of course we need to pull over everything a bit of a little bit of this Creole turkey sauce. So we basically done for today. Um, if I hope you really enjoyed the recipe and then I hope that you're gonna make it. If you make it, you can send your pictures and if you want, you can message me for more advice, okay? Now, bye.